I'm feeling positive about 2020. Are you too? Let's make it the best year yet. <laughs> Hi everyone, I hope you have a lovely day. I'm Iris Blue and I help people make the life they dream of. Welcome to my YouTube channel, the place to be if you want to get fired up to your full potential. So 2019 is almost ending and we're starting a new year. And with a new year comes new goals. What do you want to achieve in 2020? Today I'm going to teach you how you can set those goals and how you can keep those goals because we used to, we all tend to kind of have these great new year's resolutions and we kind of all end up quitting them in the third week so i'm gonna teach you how to not quit that so at the end of the year i like to reflect upon the way it's been going and to set goals for the new year and the first thing i want to say is Every time I reflect upon the year, I end up being disappointed because I always feel like I should have done more, I could have done more and I didn't do enough. And I'm always kind of disappointed with myself or the situation or just in general disappointed. And uh, I actually had a poll on, on Instagram about this, on my Instagram stories, like, do you feel like this too? That was my question. And I think it was 90 one percent of the people who answered felt the same way so i think it's just a human thing to be kind of disappointed with yourself and what you achieved and i really had a hard time with it and i brainstormed a lot to see what i could do to defeat this feeling and how to set myself for a successful new year so i'm gonna teach you the steps that i did and that i like to do every end of the year to make sure I have a great year ahead. The first one is to write down all my wins. And I actually like to do this uh, the whole year. And I actually like to do is do this during the whole year. I actually have I'm gonna take it out. I have a win a win calendar, and everything I achieve I put on it. Um, so I write down what happened, what I did, and what I am proud of, and which goal I achieved. I'm just gonna hang it back. Uh, and I do this through the whole year. So every time I feel disappointed with myself, what I accomplished, I take these cal calendars out and I look at them and I just uh, enjoy what I achieved. Uh, what I achieved. Um, but that's the first step that I would recommend everybody doing. Just write down all the wins that you, all the things that you achieved and all the wins that you had this year. And I promise you, you might think like, well, I don't, didn't really achieve anything or there's actually nothing that I'm that proud of. But I promise you, there is. And when you start writing down the first thing, you will feel, you will almost automatically think of a second thing and a third thing and a fourth thing. And you will get in this flow and you will realize at the end of it that you have so much more that you had done and so much more to be proud of than you thought initially. Then the second step is I like to look back at my goals that I set at the beginning of this year. I'm a very goal-oriented person and I really uh, think it's a great way to not only just live and let time pass by but actually consciously work on what your dream life should look like um so i take my goals out that i set and i see which one i achieved which ones i didn't without judgment and i see why i didn't achieve those goals because it's very important to realize where things go wrong maybe there is a habit that you should be doing that you didn't do didn't pick up or maybe it's just a lack of time or in my case most of the time it's because i set way too high goals and i'm way too strict with myself so uh and also don't look at your goals only on a career perspective or a job perspective or 
Uh, but just also look at your relationships. Look at your personal development goals. Because like I said on my Instagram stories, like maybe I didn't achieve everything I set out to do in my own business. Because like I said, I have crazy high standards for myself. But I did achieve so much in my personal growth. I grown up so much and I grown up so much because I was a child before. No <laughs> kidding. No, I, I really achieved a lot. I'm so much more comfortable with who I am as a person and I'm so much more comfortable with showing other people who I am as a person. So um, I think that's the biggest win you can get. So after you have done that, so your review of the last year, what what did, were your wins? What Did you achieve your goals? What went wrong um it's time to look at the year ahead and i like to start doing this by creating a vision board so i am someone who has a vision board at my desk and i look at it every day and i'm i'm it's like my inspiration center and i, I always have a vision board going but if you're not a vision board, board kind of person just try it out because I promise you it's so inspiring and it's such a good exercise to actually figure out what you want your life to look like because we don't ask ourselves this on a daily basis but it's so important to see where you want to go because if you don't know where you want to go you might not like where you end up so make a vision board cut out photos from a magazine or I like to just look up images online and put those on my vision board and really see what you want your life to look like. Then the next step, of course, a vision board is great and so inspiring, especially if you keep it close to you. Like I said, I have it on my desk at all times, but we do need to be practical. So if you have your vision board ready, set to go, based somewhere you can see it, then it's time to actually set goals. The way I like to do it, this is to look at the what I think are the four main stages of life or the four main areas of life. And that is your relationships, yourself, your career and your free time. And think what you want to achieve in those four categories in a year basis and be realistic. Don't be like me. Be realistic. <laughs> Don't make the same mistake that I make every year of asking too much for myself. You can better. It's better to set like a, maybe a low standard and achieve it mid year in the middle of the year and be like, oh my gosh, I already achieved this goal and set a crazy high standard for yourself and not achieve it at the end of the year. Except if you're someone who tends to get stuck and not work that much on their goals then maybe set the goal a little bit higher than you expect yourself to accomplish so just figure out which kind of the two categories you are are you an overachiever or an underachiever if you're an overachiever like i am set your goals a little bit higher uh, lower and if you're an underachiever set your goals a little bit higher because we i always say the most happy place to be is not to work below your potential or at your potential, but just a little bit above that. So you grow. After you set those year goals, make a goal for January. And I'm someone who um, tends to uh, have 20 goals at the same time, but I urge you to just pick three so pick the three most important goals oh so great you have a goal for january and you have an end goal where you want to go to what you want to achieve at the end of the year and what you want to achieve in a long haul like on your vision board but how do you actually achieve these goals how do you actually keep them well the first month we're all eager so it's a big chance that the goal you set for january is one you're gonna achieve but how do you keep on rolling what I like to do, and that is my last advice to you, is I like to do this every month. And I know 
you might think, well, that takes a long time, but it's not, it's not that big of a deal. So every month I like to look at the goal I want to achieve that month. Did it, did I achieve it? Yay. Did I, didn't I achieve it? Okay. What went wrong? And what would be my goal for the next month? Always keeping that end goal in mind. I really hope this way you set yourself up for a great 2020. Like I said, I am so excited for the new year. I am so excited for what's going to come. And I'm, 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 I'm convinced it's going to be a great one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It's very much appreciated because it really helps me in developing my own company and trying to help as much people as I can. If you're all about mindset and creating the life of your dreams, then please subscribe because I make more videos like this. I will see you next time. And in the meantime, don't forget that only you have the power to make the life of your dreams. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't.